Daniel Medvedev versus Andre Rublev is the fourth match of the ATP Finals for 2023. Both these guys have been in good form lately. Andre Rublev comes to the ATP Finals as the number five in the world after having one of his best seasons yet. His best result at the finals was actually last year, making to the semifinals, and there's a very strong chance of replicating that at this year's event. His win-loss record this year, 56 wins, 23 losses, having won two titles out of his six finals, with his biggest title coming in Monte Carlo, winning his first 1,000 event there. His best win was against Kasper Ruud in Bastard on the clay courts, but his worst loss came at the very start of the year, losing to Kokonakis in Adelaide. So it wasn't a great start to Rublev's season, but he did get better as it went on. His form lately has been good too, having only lost three matches in his last 10 matches, and losing to Djokovic in Paris, and also making the Shanghai final a couple of weeks ago. Daniel Medvedev comes into the tournament as the number three in the world, and after a terrible campaign last year, losing all three matches, will be looking to do something better at the ATP Finals this year. His best result here is winning the title back in 2020, but as I mentioned, last year went zero and three in the groups, and will look to change that and try and replicate what he did in 2020. His win-loss record this year, 64 wins, 16 losses, which is amongst one of the best, but he has been split when he does make it to finals of tournaments, winning five titles from the nine finals that he's played, with his biggest final, of course, being at that US Open. His best win, beating Djokovic earlier in the season in Dubai after Djokovic had just won the Australian Open, and his worst loss came in the first round of the French Open, losing to the qualifier Vilch after having one of his best clay court season preparations for that French Open yet. His form, however, hasn't been good with a couple of losses over the last couple of weeks, but he did make the final of Vienna, so he does have a little bit of form. These guys have played eight times before with the head-to-head -head in favor of Medvedev 6-2. And unfortunately for Rublev, Medvedev has won their last two matches in straight sets. But at the US Open a couple of months ago, Rublev did have a lot of chances to get sets there. He just couldn't do it for some reason. If Rublev's going to win this one, he needs to get off to an aggressive start. And he also needs to hold onto the break. That's what happened at the US Open. He broke in every set but he just couldn't hang on to convert that into winning the set. So he needs to definitely get off to a good start and win the sets this time around. Medvedev's going to win this one. He needs to use that big serve and use that psychological advantage. You know, these guys have been friends forever. And of course, Medvedev's won most of their matches. So he needs to use that to his advantage to really bully Rublev around and maybe get to his head. Another great matchup here. And it feels like every single match of this ATP Finals is going to be epic. And this one is no different, but I think Medvedev's going to win this one. I just feel like Medvedev's inside Rublev's head and maybe Rublev doesn't believe that he can beat his friend. Of course, he played a lot of time, not just here, but also in the juniors as well. But I reckon Medvedev might just get him in a close straight set. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?